Kim did post on her story after all week people waiting for her to say something that she hadn't said anything. Kim is definitely the first celebrity I think of when I think of Balenciaga. So I understand why the world would think the same thing too, that it's like, oh my God, Balenciaga did this. What is Kim going to do about it? Um, she posted, I've been quiet for the past. She posted a statement and then kind of like reworded it, but it's the same idea. I've been quiet for the past few days, not because I haven't been disgusted and outraged by the recent Balenciaga campaigns, but because I wanted an opportunity to speak to their team to understand for myself how this could have happened. As a mother of four, I've been shaken by the disturbing images. The safety of children must be held with the highest regard and any attempts to normalize child abuse of any kind should have no place in our society, period. I appreciate Balenciaga's removal of the campaigns and apology. In speaking with them, I believe they understand the seriousness of the issue and will take the necessary measures for this to never happen again. That was all in one slide. And then an hour later, she posted, which is interesting because I was like, oh, did she do this because people were like, that's not enough? Like, what's had more questions? But then... An hour later, she posted, as for my future with Balenciaga, I am currently reevaluating my relationship with the brand, basing it off their willingness to accept accountability for something that should have never happened to begin with and the actions I'm expecting to see them to take to protect children. So it's always interesting because you want to know, like, I wish sometimes they would share what was said in these closed door meetings, you know, like if for Kim to just say, oh, I spoke to them and I think they'll do the necessary next steps. It's like, well, will they? Like, what did they say? <laughs> like, t tell us what they yeah. said or, or or put out a different. Clearly, they're working. I don't even know, like, what the next steps would be. Though. I don't That's know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's very strange because I, I really think if they posted that campaign with the bears. Yeah. And then they took that down and they were like, oh, my gosh. We totally did not see what people were seeing now. Now we get it. Apologize. People would yeah. not be as mad. It was the court documents yeah. that that made this whole thing like truly even weirder. Like yeah. just so weird. You're like, what are they trying to say here? Like just really strange. I know. And I just and it's I really don't understand how celebrities that work with the this brand wouldn't immediately say i mean I guess it's a money thing you know it's like oh it's a high high-end fashion house mm -hmm. and they don't want to sever ties which is just you know kind of it's just bullshit and weak behavior in my opinion but it's like to not share anything about it. i get now like i said kim definitely is like the biggest one where people are like kim you need to do something there are so many other celebrities that work with Balenciaga that are just like skating through this that I'm just like, what do you do? Like Nicole Kidman has a Balenciaga campaign photo on her Instagram from a week ago. That's just like an ad for Balenciaga. Uh, delete the post. Like, like you're going to still promote Balenciaga during this entire week. I think I would just be like creeped out if I were them. I think yeah. that's what it comes down to being like extreme i would just be like i'm really creeped out by and you I, guys and you wouldn't want to be and a also part of you it. right you're like i'm so creeped out that i don't want to be a part of this and also i have so much money anyway that like yeah. i don't need this balenciaga campaign right that's why i, I don't, don't understand like if you're nicole kimmon is like delete the picture and and be like oh i i don't want to be associated with this brand yeah but it's, it's really it's bizarre. bizarre that people aren't doing that yeah and like i said like this picture nicole this campaign photo of Nicole Kidman is just on her Instagram. Right. Just no, like, and it's like that for other people too. I think Teresa Judice was wearing like a Balenciaga sweater or something. People were freaking out at her. But she it's, probably doesn't even know what's going on. Oh, it's it's just like I don't understand. Really, just creepy, bizarre, and I, I that, do. Think I don't understand the non-response. Of course, there, there's been just a response from the general public mm -hmm. and talking about it, but the it's. I don't know if it's like it's Thanksgiving. It was the holiday week. People were like, I'm not doing this right now. But as far as it goes, like celebrities that work with Balenciaga, kind of crickets. Yeah, it is. It is pretty bizarre. And I, I hope that people understand the difference between the like Amelia Gray story being like, you know, I believe in in people learning from their mistakes because well, I do, too. It's right. just this is a totally separate when it comes to right, this, this is children. Specific and you still have situation, to be held accountable. It's really creepy. Like it's it's very bizarre. Yeah, yeah, and 
I just still, I just really don't understand. Like even Balenciaga, I, I'm sure they're, I'm sure they've hired the biggest PR damage control person that they can find, which is why I'm, I feel like there's hasn't been a lot of comments made on their end, figuring out what they're going to do moving forward. But like if Balenciaga is going to cut ties with Kanye for what Kanye said. Yeah. Where is that feeling for this topic? It's I very, don't know. It's very, very strange. Very strange. Very strange. Maybe they just don't think it's as bad, which is wild, but I don't, I mean, this is, like you said, children. It's not really like really weird. Really, very, very creepy.